Yo, what is up, YouTube? Lee the Captain here, and I believe that the time is coming for the native token of Wax called Wax P. And why do I say this? Because I believe that Wax P during the next bull run could hypothetically at least go to the price of three dollars, and during the process, make all of those Wax critics, or should I say, ding dongs, come running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma and start begging for that used Bratwurst Extender Taylor Swift edition. If you know, you know. And even though that's neither financial baby mama nor grandma advice, in today's video, I want to explain several reasons why I believe Wax P could hypothetically at least go to the price of $3 during the next bull run. And a major reason why I think that could happen, I think is going to boil down to the rock solid, that's what she said, fundamentals of Wax. If we take a look at Wax, what is it, right? Wax is a purpose built blockchain that was designed to help make e-commerce transactions faster, easier, and safer. The WAX blockchain utilizes a delegated proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, and it's even backwards compatible with EOS as well, which I find amazing. WAX so far has created various blockchain-based tools, which allows for decentralized applications, marketplaces, and NFTs to be built. And now I want to talk about something crazy. WAX themselves claim that they are the most proven Web3 ecosystem for gaming and NFTs. Which I don't disagree with, by the way, because it has the numbers to showcase how it actually is. If we take a look at this, Wax, as of right now, is able to facilitate 23 million daily transactions. And what this means right here is that Wax executes more transactions and NFT drops than any other protocol. I mean, carayo, that's crazy. But it doesn't end there because Wax has over 700,000 daily active users. But there's more. That's what she said because Wax is home to more top 10 blockchain games than anyone else. I mean, man, Wax, when it comes to the stats, it's almost like nothing else. It's insane in my opinion. And personally, in my opinion, I think that Wax is focused on the right markets moving forward. Because, for instance, when we take a look at NFTs, the NFT market by 2030, according to Grandview Research, is expected to be worth over $211 billion. So the future potential of NFTs, it's no joke. Despite it being down right now, I think it's going to make a massive comeback in the future. In addition, when we take a look at blockchain gaming, which Wax is also focused on, by 2030, also according to Grandview Research, its market size is predicted to reach over $300 billion. I mean, that's insane. So the two markets that Wax is heavily focused on, according to Grandview Research, combined is expected to have a market size of over half a trillion dollars over the next seven years. I mean, that's very crazy to even think about. That's bigger than some countries' GDP. It's very insane. I think as the blockchain gaming market and NFT market continues to grow moving forward, I think so will amazing projects much like Wax. I think its future could look so bright. And here's the thing, Wax P as of right now, the native token of Wax, is down over 95% from its all-time high price. I mean, just let that sink in, right? When I take a look at something like this, I actually get excited. You know, some people out there, they may think that, ah, you know, the price of Wax P is down by so much, what is this about? But I love it because the way I view it is that the lower the price, the better the buying opportunity for me. At least again, that's the way I view it, that's not financial advice. And that's why I'm constantly dollar cost averaging into Wax P. Any time I earn any sort of income, I set aside some for Wax P. It doesn't matter if the price of Wax P is pumping or dumping that day, it doesn't matter. I just accumulate anyways because I believe in its future. I think that by dollar cost averaging, I'm preparing myself for the next bull run in such a fantastic way. And I think that dollar cost averaging is the best strategy personally for me because a lot of people out there, they want instant results, they want fast results. And what do they do, right? They resort to day trading, swing trading, using leverage. But a lot of friends that I know that do this, they get absolutely wrecked. They get cooked. They end up becoming guacamole on that Chipotle bowl, so to speak. They end up becoming surf and turf. And one of my friends, he started day trading, thinking that it was going to be easy, entered the crypto space, wanted fast results. He kept losing trades, ended up spiraling. And he ended up thinking that cryptos are a joke, but it doesn't have to be that way because through day trading, if someone is, let's say, shorting wax P, but instead the price goes up, if they get liquidated, they get stop lost, you know, they have to make another trade to recoup these losses. And again, right, much like my friend, if they keep losing trades, they could end up spiraling, which is why I don't do that. I like to keep it simple through dollar cost averaging. By dollar cost averaging, you know, if let's say my portfolio is down 10%, yeah, okay, that's not good for some people's ego. But if the price of wax P, let's say, goes up 20%, 
then I've recouped this loss, right? This 10% loss was an unrealized loss because I didn't get liquidated. I didn't get stop loss. So again, that's the beauty about dollar cost averaging. I'm not day trading or swing trading. And when something is this amazing like WaxP, I like to keep it simple. There's no need to overcomplicate things in my opinion because I believe that WaxP during the next bull run could hypothetically at least go to the price of $3. And I think a major catalyst which could very well allow for this to happen is the fact that the next bull run, in my opinion, could be so legendary because when we take a look at it, the 2021 bull run, that was no joke. That was insane. But still, even despite that, that year, at that time, there was over 100 million less crypto owners than today. So you got to let that sink in, right? As of right now, we actually have more people than ever before in history owning cryptos. So if the 2021 bull run already looked that insane with that many less people owning cryptos, just imagine what the next bull run will look like, especially now that we insert, that's what she said, over 100 million new crypto owners. I mean, man, when there's that many people owning cryptos, I think that during the next bull run, the FOMO, the buying pressure, and the buying volume, and as well as the altcoin season, I think all of that could look so ridiculous. Hashtag Snooki, I'm just joking. Well, maybe not really. But when I take all those positive factors into consideration, and when I consider just how revolutionary WAX is, and last but not least, when I consider what markets WAX is focused on, I really don't see why Wax P during the next bull run won't hypothetically at least go to the price of $3 and during the process make all of those Wax critics come running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma and start begging for that used Bratwurst extender. If you know, you know. And of course, it's Taylor Swift edition. They might even try to get the Selena Gomez edition. I guess we'll never know, right? But yeah, besides that point, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to continue to dollar cost average. And I think that Wax P is a sleeping giant. That's what she said. And if you want to check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video, and I think you all would really love it. It's been V the Captain, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. I'm on peace. Bye.